Hi, I'm James Norton, Chow.com Super Taster, and as fans of the channel may know, we've hit a couple of important uh, benchmarks recently. Uh, more than 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, which I'm super pleased about, and more than 2 million video views. Now to put that in context, uh, all of my videos combined have gotten fewer views than Attacked by Ferrari owner P prank or teens react to hair tutorial gone wrong. I'm okay with that I, I, I think we're still doing good and I appreciate all you guys for all your support I was sort of hoping that uh, my producers over at Chow would send me a bonus check or a giant Novelty chocolate bar or something like that, but instead they had me order two different kinds of, uh, of banana slicers the uh, Bonanza and the Hutzler. So, you guys, however, will benefit from my uh, my my viewership success. We're going to do a T-shirt giveaway on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, uh, on Reddit, and on Chow.com. So, leave comments on this video, and we're going to uh, we're going to fling the T-shirts far and wide. And uh, again, thank you so much for your support. You guys write awesome emails, and I get good ideas all the time. Uh, you guys are sort of my eyes and ears out there in terms of what's going on with all the crazy products. Now, speaking of crazy products, let's jump right into today's video. We're doing haagen new gelato. Now, haagen old school, like first cast SNL uh, luxury ice cream brand. They are, they're wheeling out gelato, which is sort of ill-defined, but generally speaking, it's gonna be sweeter than ice cream and a little bit denser, a little less air. Uh, so it's a little more, uh, plastic in terms of its texture and a little higher sugar content, usually compensated for by richer flavors uh, of fruits or chocolates, etc. I got a local supermarket brand gelato, Roundies. I got their caramel sea salt gelato, try against the sea salt caramel by Haagen Dazs. So let's start off with that taste test and then we'll move on to the other two flavors of Haagen Dazs that I got and see how they see how they fare. Here's the Roundies caramel sea salt flavor. A little bit of salt there. It tastes like a melted craft caramel. There's sort of um, there's an artificial sweetness, particularly in the finish, that is just like craft, craft, craft. Eh, most of it thumbs down. I don't think I'd want to eat this again. Now let's try the sea salt caramel gelato by Haagen Dazs. It's good. Um, it's a bit sweet, but it does taste like burnt sugar and butter, which is sort of what uh, caramel should be. There's a little bit of a salt finish to it. I wish the salt was a, a little more pronounced, but overall it's in balance. Uh, most of a thumbs up for the haagen -Dazs. Now we'll try the dark chocolate chip haagen gelato. Texture-wise, this tastes a lot like ice cream. It doesn't have that density or smoothness, but there's a lot of little chocolate chips in there. Pretty good quality chocolate, um, which I like quite a bit. Flawed, but, but delicious. Most of a thumbs up. Finally, vanilla bean. Nice, sharply pronounced natural vanilla flavor, but way too sweet for me, actually. I, it, is, it is a little too sweet. Sideways oh. thumb. Overall, haagen gelato, good, not amazing. If you've got a local uh, gelateria or pasticceria or whatever, go out there, keep getting your gelato locally. I'm James Norton, Chow.com Super Taster. Thanks again so much for your support. If you don't already subscribe on YouTube, please jump on there, join the throng. I'll be back in a couple more days with more food.